Hey guys, I hope you are having an awesome day. I wanted to take some time to walk you guys through my everyday makeup routine. So this is probably the question that I get the absolute most of all things that you guys ask me questions about is what I do for an everyday makeup routine from start to finish. And today is going to be a day where I'm probably going to be wearing a teeny tiny bit more than if I were to be walking out the door to go get groceries. I have some videos to record, some things to do, um, but I will give you guys a glimpse into what my typical um, routine would look like. So um, I'm going to take you from start to finish from, I have nothing on my skin right now. I am a little bit, um, you see some little spots of discoloration, some scarring. I had a chemical peel done the other day um, and my skin is just kind of purging um, the stuff at the surface right now. If you've ever had one of those, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I've done no preparation to my skin whatsoever. So I'm going to kind of show you guys what I do. Um, I brushed my teeth and I've wiped my face with a face cloth. But other than that, not so much. So I use a mixture of two things in the mornings. Um, I use doTERRA's Virage Moisturizer and a couple of drops of Yarrow Palm. So I'm going to do that. This is running out, so um, that's usually, I'd say, a couple pumps. And Yarrow, for those of you who are not familiar, is blue. Very high antioxidant content. Super nourishing. And no, it does not leave you blue. I don't usually... Um, go that close to my face, but, or my eyes, sorry. Um, but I have a eyelash fill coming up on Wednesday. So I'm okay using a little bit of oil around my eyes. Um, okay. So I usually use, um, on a day when I want more coverage, I use Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Um, I'm obsessed with this stuff. So it is, um, an SPF of 20 and it's Bare Minerals. So it's not, full of chemicals, which to me is huge. However, this also gives you quite a bit of coverage and I don't need today a ton of coverage. My skin's actually looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go with my secondary um, option, which is this Peter Thomas Roth um, Skin to Die For CC Cream. So this is in medium because it's coming up on summer. Um, I just purchased this yesterday. I love it. It's just a new one. So I do a little bit on my fingers. Sure, I'm going to break all the rules and use my fingers to apply. Um, I use my fingers typically for um, things like CC cream, BB cream. I just feel like you get a more, I don't know, fluid coverage. Okay, throw that on. Um, next up, because I do have a little bit of discoloration, um, I've got some bags under my eyes, I want a little bit more coverage, I'm going to use a concealer. Um, guys, you guys know that I use primarily natural stuff. I try and stick with natural products and natural makeups. Um, I also do... I'm very cautious about the products that I use um, when it comes to body washes. I don't use fragrance in my home and things like that. When it comes to makeup, I don't always buy natural. I've shared with you guys my clean makeup, fa my favorite clean makeups, um, but the products that I'm actually going to show you today aren't necessarily the cleanest. Um, and so I kind of, it's a give and a take. I don't use cleaning products in my home, I don't use laundry detergents, I don't use fragrance. But I do like to use some um, of my favorite makeup. So it's kind of that give and a take. So if you are somebody that uses non-natural makeup, but you are cleaning up your act in your cleaning regime, that's okay. It's like this 80-20. Um, you really have to kind of pick your battles here, okay? So I love makeup. I also love to make my skin look really nice. And so 
things when it comes to um, my skin and treatments and makeup, I will use sometimes chemical based. So this here is literally a Shoppers Drug Mart find. Um, it is Maybelline Master Conceal. And this is in light medium. And you need, literally guys, a drop. So the teeniest little amount on my finger or on my hand and I just will apply it to the areas of concern using my finger. Yes, like I said, breaking all the rules. And I'll apply like a layer to it, let's say, using my finger. And then I'll show you what I do. I'm using a little mirror over here. I'm just gonna take a teeny tiny bit more for under my eyes. Okay, so I have like this little layer on. Um, I'm gonna use a brush. This is a 99 brush from Sephora and I will just use this and stipple basically the spot where I want the coverage. Okay, super simple, easy peasy. Um, I apply that and then I am going to apply a little bit of bronzer. So because I choose the shade up, I'm going into summer, I am usually more tanned, I choose self tanner, um, I choose this, the color up. So you'll see that it's a little bit darker than my skin currently, which I'm okay with, but it just means that I'm not gonna need as much bronzer. So I use a, um, one of my absolute favorite makeup brands is Charlotte Tilbury, it's called. It is available at Holt Renfrew and available at Sephora online, or if you're in the U.S., it is available at your Sephora. It's coming to Canada. Um, so I use her, um, it's called the Film Star Bronze and Glow, so face sculpt and highlight in fair to medium, and it looks like this. So it's highlighter and bronzer. Um, and then I just use a big bronzer brush. This is, I believe these are actually Arbon brushes from like way back in the day. Um, and I use it just right here, just below my cheekbone. And I go up. Again, I would, if I was going out or had something um, I was going to a wedding or speaking, I would do a little bit more of a contour, but a little on the nose and then a little on the chin and then spread that down. <laughs> you guys know the drill. We hate that line on the neck, right? Okay. Um, I have fairly rosy cheeks. Don't typically wear blush. That's just me. Um, again, do what works for you. Um, if I do use blush, I love um, Tarte. Tarte is probably one of my favorite blush brands. Or the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk is awesome. Love, love, love her products. Um, next up, so simple you'll see here. Um, I am going to do a little bit on my eyes. Let me just pull this in a little bit tighter so you guys can see a little bit more. Clearly I don't do this all the time. So I usually have eyelashes, you guys will, um, most of you know that, but I don't have a fill yet, so I will show you what I do in the meantime. I'm gonna do a quick eyebrow, and then I'm gonna do a quick eye. So I use the Anastasia, it is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Crayon in taupe. What I love about this is that it's a pencil on the one side, and it is a brush on the other. So you can just fill in your brows, one thing that I, do is literally just fill in the gaps. I don't really draw or outline um, anything. I have been working on growing my brows for what seems like five years. So if you are on the path to growing out brows, you for sure know what I mean. And literally just fill it in. I probably break all rules when it comes to eyebrows. I'm not a professional. And then I just brush it out a little bit. See the difference though? Huge difference. 
This one's my misshapen eyebrow. We all have one, right? It's fine. Totally fine with that. This also is my thinning eyebrow for some reason. So you're all, uh, for me at least, I find I always have a brow that is weird and I need to either fill in more or draw the shape to. So for instance, this one doesn't have a peak. This one does. This one doesn't have a peak. So I typically have to draw that peak in. Um, again, I'm not a professional in this. I literally have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. Um, I just kind of roll with the punches here. So the next thing I am going to show you is a quick eye. If there is any little palette that you need, it is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. The reason being is this is literally going to cover you every day. You can layer it, you can add the sparkles if you would like to for a night out. Um, but the idea behind this palette is that you've got your prime, your enhance, your smoke, and then a pop. And so I use two of them for every day and I will show you again, not a professional mismatching brushes, but my dark brush I use for the dark color. My light brush I use for the light color, not a pro here. Okay. So I'm going to just use this light color in the top corner. It's light with a little bit of sparkle and I'm just going to use that all over again, getting a lash fill. So I'm kind of going to town here. Okay, and then I'm going to take this darker color bottom mixed with this lighter pink here. It's a matte and I'm going to mix the two. So like a dab of each and I'm going to use this right in the crease like the line here. You'll see it starts to add some dimension. What I love is that these are pink. They're not brown. They're not um, sparkly. There's really nothing to them other than they just add a little bit of dimension. So you guys can see that there. I'll do the other eye quick. There we go. That's all I do. <laughs> so now that I am in the midst of waiting for a lash fill, I will add on some mascara. Um, my lashes are very sparse. I'm on like almost four weeks. Um, so I'm just gonna brush them out. Um, and then again, I use a random, um, array of mascaras. Typically I actually will enjoy getting these samples from Sephora. So when they at Christmas time, they have packs of like eight mascaras. I love those because they will give me an array of mascara to try. And then you can pick what one is your favorite. Um, the one that I'm playing with right now is Milk Makeup, and it's their Kush Mascara. And yes, it does have um, marijuana in it, or I believe it's CB CBD, let's say, um, because it does help with lash growth, apparently. So I, when I am between a fill, I will put mascara at the base because it thickens it up. And then I will kind of fill in the spots that are thin. So for instance, right now, my outside corners are super thin. And so I will just fill in those particular spots. I also have a massive chunk. Okay, there we go. Weirdest faces, hey? The name of the mascara game. Alrighty. So big difference there. You can kind of just see it fills it in. Um, the last two things that I do. So I hate that look of when you've got your foundation on your lips. Your lips are a little cracky. So I actually use a lip scrubby. Um, this is from a brand called Kopari. I don't actually know where this is from. Um, this was a gift 
but it's a coconut oil lip scrub. Awesome. Um, so I use a little bit of this on my finger. To just get off that foundation that I have on my lips. It's sugar, so you can just lick it. And then they have a, a gloss, which is a coconut oil base, again, that I will just use to the top. Again, just a little bit of color. And there you have it. So that is my everyday makeup routine that I will do typically anytime. Um, if I am not on camera <clears throat> or I will not be doing Insta stories or whatever, I would not do the eyes, and I would just do the foundation, the concealer, some bronzer. Oh, I forgot my highlighter. That was a big thing, right? Forgot about that. So I bronze, typically, and then I highlight. So I actually completely forgot about this. Um, again, I use this. Another phenomenal brand that I love their highlighter is Becca, um, and it is their golden one. Phenomenal. If you want to do a little splurging, Charlotte Tilbury has a highlighter stick and it is in rose gold. Oh my heavens, it's beautiful. For the time being, I'm going to use this. I use this funny little feather brush. Um, and on the end, I would just do a dab and I highlight right here and right here. Uh, dab down the nose and then Cupid's bow. And do a little bit on that chin. And there we go. There you all have it. I hope that you find this helpful. And if you have absolutely any questions at all about my makeup routine or what I use, please don't hesitate to ask.